maybe we shouldn't be looking at the entire whole. Maybe I shouldn't be thinking, well, you know, I need to talk about this show that I am not well equipped to talk about or um, that I need to talk about the whole thing, but rather talk about individual aspects of it. Now, this isn't a new concept to me, but what is a new concept to me is the idea of, of the puzzle piece of, you know, you're sort of making uh, little, little steps in the right direction. Now, I've talked about both of these. I've talked about on the Ramblecast uh, the idea of making small videos instead of saying the, you know, everything. Gotten that tip from other places, but, uh, and then I've talked in other videos about the whole idea of small victories and about appreciating the current ability, the fact that you can do it at all, etc. Um, it's sort of going around these, these, these positive mentalities of thinking. But, um, this, this new, this new idea that sort of came to me by accident, uh, is the the idea that this, these shows are a lot like a puzzle. Um, I just wrote a post earlier today, last night, whatever you want to call it, that's currently rendering, um, and I tried, I tried to visually represent it, but I couldn't because I couldn't think of any good clip choice, so I ended up uh, just putting gameplay footage over it. But regardless... Um, uh, I was thinking here, um, like, I mentioned two shows, one Sailor Moon and another Galaxy Frail Wine Yuna. One, I had made, uh, a, a video on Yuna, a vlog, sort of complaining about it, but I didn't really know how to go about it. You know, I was thinking about it as I watched the show, you know, how could I make a video about Frail Wine Yuna that would be analyzing in depth uh how a show like this does what it does right like i was saying well all the characters are bad and lots of things about the setting i don't like and lots of things about the fights i don't like so where could i pull a good show and compare the two now i think that would be an interesting video you know but i don't know enough about writing um and i haven't seen enough of those kinds of shows to really say this is what's good and this is what's bad so I can't do that you know I'm I'm blocked off from that but there is a piece of the puzzle you know uh, making a video uh, called you know this is a point that I made I watched this show um, in the dark and that's a point you know the aesthetics are a point um, so I didn't try to pull from the entire show. I didn't try to, um, you know, say that other point. And I didn't, you know, get all upset about, you know, I can't make this point that I'm not even equipped to make at all. Instead, I sort of had this other idea in my head and I sort of uh, tried to pull it together and make something out of it. That's what I did. And I mentioned another show that I couldn't make points about. I wanted to talk about the characterization. The characterization in Sailor Moon and I wanted to go in depth about that uh, but I wasn't equipped to do so because I don't know one I don't know enough about the show I only saw the first episode and if I was gonna talk about that first episode I'd need to rewatch it because there's specifics I would want to go into about that I need to see the whole show too um, and I would need to have a bit more of a knowledge on characterization which I don't I mean I could talk about it but I don't I don't think I'd be equipped enough, but what I can do is talk about um, how I watch the show. I could talk about the context surrounding it, which served the overall greater point that I was trying to make in that video. So it was important that I saw that show. You know, it was important um, in terms of me getting experience of watching shows and in, and uh, in terms of experience of me having that idea so it's not like I'm wasting my time watching these shows that I want to watch but I'm not making videos out of um, because I did make a video out of it I found some way to incorporate it into something um, and that experience ended up being valuable in the long run you know all of these shows every show I watch ends up being uh, valuable in the long run they all go into a greater puzzle that's the point I'm trying to make here and this is a point that I've never really been able to grasp is that 
I sort of get anxious to the fact about watching certain shows that I know I don't have an idea about in the first episode, you know, because I feel like ugh, watching something is just a waste of time when I'm not making a video about it because I have this sort of workaholic attitude of I need to be making content all the time, so it it really, really uh, got down my spine. It got into my bones um, that I didn't uh, that that I didn't immediately make a video about it. But you know, by some stroke of luck, I did, and I do with a lot of these shows. Either if it's just a silly vlog, or if it's you know an actual written thing, I do mention it eventually. I do pull from it eventually. It's the thing you will, um, and so it's important to have that experience with the medium so you can actually talk about the medium. It's important to experience bad shows in a genre and good shows so you can eventually compare and contrast both and pull from you know, why one is good and why one isn't. So in a lot of ways, watching any show is valuable to the kind of thing I do on YouTube. Um, it's all part of a greater puzzle, and this is something that I haven't been able to see for a long time, and it's made watching things way harder than it should be, because I don't have an instant gratification of this is work done, um, and I can curb that sort of by getting something done, first of all, writing some idea, even if it's not the best one, it, even if it's not like about a specific show, well, at least I practiced today, at least I practiced today, um, but uh, that sort of helps, but I've sort of stopped worrying as much and just enjoy myself, just enjoy myself watching shows and it will eventually pay off somehow. I know this sounds like an insane person, <laughs> like I know it does because anyone else, if they watch television, they think, well, it's television. I'm not trying to make something out of this, but when I watch television, I think of it more as like, like, uh, like, well, what can I say about this? What, how does this benefit me into writing? Because television to me now equals writing. How can I write about this thing? Um, and I care about writing more than anything in the world. I care about making videos more than anything in the world. So I treat it more or less like a job I'm not getting paid for. Um, and so that's why this obsession with watching the right shows comes comes in. And I know it may sound silly from the outside, but that really is how my mind works. So, yeah, I'm really tired right now. Like uh I've been sort of um rushing to get out to get out content before I go to bed as I always do. I always got to record 20 things before I go to bed. Uh it's up somewhat stilting my speech, but at least I'm building up that ability of being able to talk more even though like I'm about to you know <laughs> fall down or something well at least I can make a point um yeah that, that's a vlog <laughs> good night